Hello everyone, I am Sikandar Abu Rakib. Welcome back to my tutorial. Today I am going to start a new tutorial series about Proteus. This is a simulation software. We can make some circuit here and we can get the simulation effect there. Today I am going to construct some very basic circuits and I am going to show you how to create the series circuit and parallel circuit and eventually I will show you the Kirchhoff's current law. Let us start. This is the Proteus interface and I am going to pick here some devices and first of all I am going to pick some batteries and I am going to pick some register and LED red LED green and also LED blue. I am going to pick button and I am going to pick some DC emitter. Okay, so I am going to construct the basic circuit. First of all, I am taking the battery. And I am putting some DC emitter and I am taking to LED and green LED and to register. And I'm changing the value of the resistance to 20 ohm. I'm connecting the resistance with the LED to emitter. I'm connecting the battery to emitter and I'm going to use two buttons here, one here and another is here and I'm going to connect another part of the LED to the button and this is the anode of the LED that means positive terminal and this is the cathode that means negative terminal. And I'm connecting okay so here I have construct two circuits like this is the circuit one circuit two and this again the whole circuit and these two circuits are in parallel condition so I am going to start the simulation and it shows no current is passing through the emitter and if I press this button red LED is blinking if I release the button it is getting off and same goes here also okay if I press this it will connect permanently and if I connect here it will connect it permanently okay so I can release it here if I want now I am going to place two emitter here and here this emitter and connecting and I am going to simulate again okay here we see 0 0.04 amps current is passing through here and if i click here 0.4 amps is passing through this circuit and here 0 0.08 amps is passing here uh, i am going to reverse the terminal here uh, i uh, put the dc emitter here uh, i corrected the polarities so it was showing the negative that's why so if i press 
simulation button play button we can see 0 0.08 amps is passing here and here it is splitting up into 0 0.04 and another 0 0.04 so according to the Kirchhoff's current law uh, in an electrical circuit in any node or junction the sum of in all the incoming current will be equal to the sum of all the outgoing current from a node so we are looking at this tool here so 0 0.04 plus 0 0.04 is equal to 0 0.08 so here it proves the Kirchhoff's current law and here we are looking the parallel circuit operation now I am going to add a series circuit along with this parallel circuit I am turning off the simulation and adding another LED and a register here and a button and I am connecting the LED with the button and button also I am going to put DC meter here and changing the resistance value and starting the simulation so the current is flowing from this path and coming to this path as it is the open circuit so if I close it I made the mistake here I put the short circuit here that's it was not working and okay now i corrected the circuit and if i turn the simulation so it is now working if i make it as open circuit the whole circuit will not not pass any current because the current will generate from the battery will go through this path and from this path and this path but here it will get the open circuit that's why the loop will not be completed and the, no LED is blinking so for making it complete loop I must close it here so I am closing it here and if I just open it in that case the current will come through this path and coming through this path and complete the loop in this way and if I close it and open it then current will generate from here and will pass through this way because here is the open circuit and again it will go through this path and will complete the loop and if I press it here then the current will pass through this path and will be split up into two ways and again it will sum up and go through this way and complete the loop so if we uh, look the current into the DC emitter we can see here the current is 0 0.02 amps here and here 0 0.01 and 0 0.01 and here also the current is 0 0.02 so again we are getting the proof of Kirchhoff's current law so this is the way we can construct the basic circuit diagram and here I constructed the circuit which is connected with our previous circuit in a series connection so these two circuits are in parallel connection and with this parallel and uh, parallel circuit this this circuit is connected in series connection so we learned in this video how to construct the parallel circuit how to construct the series circuit and how to use the dc emitter resistance led button and dc power supply and we also proved the Kirchhoff's current law i hope this tutorial was informative for you if you have any question please leave it into the comments and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel i will see you into the next tutorial thank you very much for watching